Hi everyone, it's Aaron here from Price Supply again. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Just Boom DAC. For those of you who haven't seen the Just Boom range before, it's a range of high quality audio boards which suit the Raspberry Pi, um, some standalone boards, and in the future, we're going to have some for the BeagleBone range as well, um, and, and probably beyond that as well as, as we go. So, as I said, today's video, we're looking at the DAC. The DAC is a standalone digital to analog converter. It's based around the same chipsets that you can find on our DAC Cat um, and DAC Zero. Not exactly the same, but very similar in terms of specifications. The Just Boom DAC is a standalone digital to analog converter. It's based around similar chipsets to what we've got on the DAC Cat and the DAC Zero, but due to the input from the coaxial or optical side, you're limited to 108 kilohertz, 24 bit audio um, on the output side. Um, it also has a 138 milliwatt amplifier. Um, that's just to power your headphones or um, anything that uh, needs a slightly pre-amplified signal. So let's take a look. So as you can see inside, we've got a range of stuff. Um, the board itself, and then a bunch of other stuff. So we'll take a look at these now. So to start with, you can see we've got a little Rune uh, voucher and um, install guide here. So as you can see, there's a little voucher code on the side there. That gets you a uh, complimentary 60-day membership to Rune. Uh, and then you've just got um, some setup instructions and information about how to use Rune. Um, you've got a very similar thing um, from Max 2 Play. Um, again, just tells you how to get started with the Max 2 Play software um, and, a, and a license code to get you a 30 day free license um, just to get you up and running, trial the software, things like that. So, both of those are high resolution. Um, audio software. So for all you audio files out there or for anyone that's looking for a really nice uh, interface for a home audio system, that's the kind of software you want to be looking at. But we'll come back to that in, at the end. Um, you can go to our website and um, there's a variety of different softwares you can use. So um, you can just take your pick based on which one, um, what application you're, you're thinking to use for it. Um, we've then got the Just Boom um, card. Again, um, it just got some info on there, um, a web link to basically take you to our Getting Started page. Um, then you've got a couple of Just Boom stickers. Feel free to stick those on the back of your laptop or iPad or whatever you've got. Um, but if you do, make sure to send us a picture on Twitter. It'd be much appreciated. And then we've got the board itself. So there you can see, that's the uh, top of the board, the Just Boom DAC. Um, you can see quite a lot of components on top. Uh, we'll run through them briefly, um, what they do um, and various things like that. Yeah, just talk about some use cases and stuff. So that's the top of the board. Um, and then you've got the bottom of the board there. There's not many components. You've mainly got just a headphone adapter on the bottom there um, and um, some of the through hole components popping through as well. Um, you can see a couple of labels on there. Those are just um, kind of like testing labels from where, where they're produced. So um, nothing that you really need to know about like as a, from a user's perspective. So um, yeah, so let's take a look at the board from the top. Um, you can see here a variety of connectors. So we've got here um, the, this is the kind of input side um, of the board. And then up here, you've got the outputs. So effectively, as inputs, you need the five volt power. So that, that's just a typical um, micro USB phone charger. Um, we typically recommend that you use like a Raspberry Pi um, power supply. These typically are a bit more reliable. They're high quality power supplies. Um, and they provide enough amperage that you get a good quality signal. Normally for the DAC, we'd say to go for at least um, five volts, one amp, um, but obviously having a two amp or 2.5 amp, it doesn't um, cause any issues. Um, and as I say, those Raspberry Pi official power supplies are just really um, good quality ones. So that's normally what we'd recommend. Um, you've got um, a coaxial in, 
um, and you've got a Toslink um, optical input. So effectively, just either of those digital um, signals as an input. Where you take that from, it, it can be any device. It doesn't have to be anything to do with a Raspberry Pi or a BeagleBone or anything like that. It can come from any device that has a coaxial um, or optical digital audio output. You'll see these in a lot of um, desktop computers. Um, televisions sometimes have them. Um, and like AV receivers, stuff like that. So you've got a lot of different options. We also have our own... Um, uh, Just Boom Digi Hat and Just Boom Digi Zero, uh, which you'll, you'll have seen in some other videos that we've done, um, unboxing and tutorial videos. Um, you can take the output from those into one of these um, as well. So if you want to have it as part of a Raspberry Pi or um, BeagleBone kind of home audio setup, you can use this as part of it, but it's not essential to have that component. So um, just bear that in mind. You can use this as a standalone product. Um, so with those connectors done, the rest of the stuff, I mean, it probably not that interesting to some of you. We have got much more detailed specifications on the website. If you do want to know all the individual um, chips and components that we use on board, we have got that technical info there. But I'll just run through the main ones today for you. So um, you can see um, we've got here um, on these on the board here, we've got two chips here. Now, these are the... Um, input chips so for the optical and coaxial um, those are basically taking the inputs um, and routing them to the actual DAC chip which is this one here which is uh, the the PCM 5102A so that's a Texas Instruments DAC chip um, and as I said that the, that chip can actually do 384 kilohertz and 32 bit but because of the input stage that we've got on the optical and coaxial um, that is restricted to 108 kilohertz and 24-bit um, audio uh, just because of, of that input stage. Um, and then this other um, fairly large chip you can see here, that is the headphone amplifier I mentioned. Um, I believe that is also a Texas Instruments unit. Yeah, it is. Um, so that headphone amplifier, um, again, it just, it's just for getting that um, kind of amplified output to a pair of headphones or something that requires a pre-amplified um, input. So um, then the other ones, as I mentioned already, is the output stage connectors. So you've got um, the left and right um, RCA outputs uh, and, and those are line level. So um, just straight from the DAC line level outputs. Um, and then you've got the 3.5mm uh, headphone adapter uh, which has the 138 milliwatt amplifier connected to it. So that really um, it, it is the board. Um, you know, it's it's quite basic plug and play board. Um, and as I said, it will work in standalone settings or with a kind of Raspberry Pi home audio setup. So um, it, it's really quite flexible in how you use it. Now, there's probably one connector you're, you're, you've been looking at thinking, I wonder what that does. Kind of interesting looking connector we've got here on the board. Um, almost looks like kind of alligator's teeth or something. Um, so yeah, that connector. Um, we've got a board called the Just Boom Amp, um, and that's a standalone amplifier um, that can stack on top of this. So we'll show you that in another video because this one really is just meant to be an unboxing and first look. Um, but do come back and check that video out because we'll explain a bit more in detail how to connect that amp to the board uh, and also um, just what you can do with that extra amplification basically. So yeah, um, I hope that's been useful. Um, if you do want more information, as I mentioned, we've got the um, justboom.co forward slash start webpage. If you take a look at that, there's links to all sorts of different tutorials. Um, we've got cases for these boards as well. So if you are doing it in a home audio setup and it's not gonna go into a kind of standalone project, you can put that in a nice case so it looks nice on top of your AV receiver or you know your, your expensive TV. Um, probably don't necessarily want a PCB with a load of wires hanging out of it. So um, you can make that look a bit better. Um, and then we've got loads of different accessories, cables, um, power supplies as well. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.